Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. Faith on Friday Presents is all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And this is what we want to do every single time that we come on. And while you're here, you may as well subscribe, like it, and prepare to share it because you're going to be amazed. Because it's the new year, everyone is looking forward to starting their new business. Oh my gosh, we have the best idea ever, and we're going to put that thing on the market. But in order to get those clients or to get those customers, you're going to have to sell something. And everyone loves sales said no one ever, except for my first guest. Y'all, please welcome Jason Integrity. He is a sales strategist and a guru and a master. Trust me, you will know this when you see it. He is out of Detroit, y'all, the Motor City. Jason, what's going on? What's going on, Ricky? Thanks for having me. I appreciate you bringing me on. Oh my gosh, this, there was nobody else to start us off this year. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Jason, you heard in the intro, folks are going to start their businesses along with their diets this year, and they're going to have to sell something. Why do we hate sales so much? It's uncomfortable. You know, everybody wants to buy, but nobody wants to be sold. Let me decide what I want, and then I'll decide if that price is right for me, and then we can move to the next step. You know, um, unfortunately, through through unscrupulous salespeople, we've all been in that position to where somebody's just pushing, 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 trying to get us to buy something for their own benefit, not necessarily ours, right? So they're trying to hit their quota. They're just trying to make some money. So they're just selling to be selling and not necessarily trying to solve your problem or help you. And because we've all been in that environment, we don't want to be that guy. So now mm. it's uncomfortable to, to sell. That is so true. I love what you said. You know, people are selling, selling, selling for their own benefit. Because most of us, when we think of sales, we think of that sleazy car salesman. Hey, this is the right one for you. You know, right. buy now. It'll be gone soon. What I got to do to get you in this car today. Oh, yeah. You already <laughs> know. <laughs> so why is why has that been the stereotype or why has that been the model for sales for so long well <clears throat> because it's it's it takes time to build relationships it takes time to understand what problems that a person is having and if i'm in it for the money just let me figure out a way to con people into buying it because i'm just in it okay. for the money i don't care if i'm helping you with your problem or not i'm just mm -hmm. trying to make my commission or whatever it is um but if you do it the right way, it's just a, a conversation. I like that. So tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and why your sales strategy is so different. Um, it's an excellent question. Um, so, so I'm a sales strategist. I help my clients with their marketing and sales conversation. So you are selling the minute that you say I'm in business. Now you're selling. You're being evaluated. Can you actually deliver this product or service? Does this line up with the, the industry standard? Are you better than the average? You know, so you're constantly being evaluated. Everything you put out on social media, um, when you're actually in the sales process, are you answering questions? Are you knowledgeable? You know, um, and finally, can you deliver the outcome that you promised? So you're in the sales process the minute that you start. I help my clients with that conversation. So the, in your marketing, what are you saying about yourself and your brand? How are you positioning yourself? Who can we help? Who would the best person to have this conversation with? Who actually needs this service? Mm -hmm. You know, um, how can we build these relationships so that they understand that, listen, I started this company to help you. I created these products to be a benefit for you so we can solve these problems. Wow. You know, um, the better you explain all of this, the smoother that process goes. Mm -hmm. and, and most importantly, you get to build these long-term relationships. We're not trying to sell it once. We're trying to build relationships so that we have a uh, long-term customer. You know, you said two things that really stuck out to me that I've really never thought of for sales. You said relationship and conversation. 
what? What does that have to do with sales? Anyway, <laughs> a relationship and a conversation. Tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, so the conversation comes in at and and where. How can I get you to understand that this will help you? <laughs> I created this product so it can help you, or, or I'm selling this product so it can help you. And here's the problems that it solved. You know, so it, it, should, it should be a conversation. If you're just talking about bells and whistles, nobody cares about the bells and whistles if this thing doesn't solve the problem. You know, so I got this vacuum cleaner and it can do all of these things. It got all these attachments. And at the end of the day, your carpet's still dirt. Then, then what's the point of all of the stuff, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I really need uh, uh, to be able to do is to have the conversation about how effective this thing is at solving that problem. And now it's a part of the conversation. But in the midst of that, I need you to understand that, listen, I'm legit. <laughs> I, I went to vacuum college. Like, like, I understand how all of this works. I build vacuums, right? When I'm, mm -hmm. when I'm chilling at home, I'm watching videos on vacuums. I read books about vacuums. I'm a vacuum genius. So as you add all that into the conversation, now people go, oh, well, if there's anything I need to know about vacuums, it's the guy I'm going to. Yeah, so yeah. you, and this is a part of building your brand. So you build your brand that way, but it should be conversational as opposed to just itemizing the things that the vacuum can do because nobody cares about that anyway. You okay. know, um, just just think about all of the stuff a microwave can do. A microwave can do a bunch of stuff. Nobody knows. They put the thing in, push the button, it get hot, and you take it out. But it's it's seven million settings on your microwave, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so, we use eight of them. Two of them are popcorn. Don't judge me. <laughs> That's right. And most people don't even set the time. They just hit the add a minute button. Right. Yeah. So so it's, it's things like that to where if, if you get caught up in the bells and whistles of it, then mm -hmm. you, you blew the sale because you're trying to sell it instead of having a conversation. That is that is so true. And, and like you said, that builds the long term relationship. You know, you did say something else, even though it was hilarious. You know, I went to vacuum college. <laughs> Tell us about your journey, because as a sales strategist, I'm sure you didn't start this yesterday. Oh yeah, correct, correct. You, you know, um, so I, I started off in the in the military. Um, I went in the army right out of high school, and that's where I learned that relationships matter. To answer the previous question, why mm -hmm. relationships are so important. Mm -hmm. Um, it is not who you are and what you know, it's it's who you are connected to and how we can mm -hmm. build this thing together. I and love how, that way. I'm gonna stop I, you right there, Jason, because yeah. that was so powerful and worth repeating. It is not about who you know, but you said it's about who you are connected with. That's powerful. So, okay, I want to hear how this worked out in the military. Go ahead. <laughs> so what, what really made me pay attention to it is I was lower rank and I was a specialist, but I was in charge of, uh, I was a fuel handler. We handled all the oil and, and fuel for a battalion. So I was in charge of the, the fuel for the battalion. Um, I had a $3 million budget and I was 19 years old. <laughs> and, and whenever there was something that the, the higher ups didn't want to do, they would blame it on, we can't get fuel. And, and I didn't necessarily have the, the, the rank to argue it. So they would deadline my trucks and, and things like that. And it's like, oh, we can't get gas. So we got to cancel the exercise. So I figured out a way to where I quit. I stopped getting the blame. So I had relationships with, with the mechanics and, and mechanics in different units to make sure that my truck stayed up. I had a way to get fuel, even if I couldn't get fuel from my regular place, I had 17 other places where I can get fuel. Wow. I'm not taking the fall for the entire battalion, right? So I did it, I did it out of self-preservation. But, <laughs> but what ended up happening is I had all of these great relationships with all of these different people in supply and different units. And um, and now I'm I'm connected. And now if I needed something, I knew somebody. And and then now you know, because of the relationships, we can leverage it. And, and now I had as much juice as some of the people who outrank me. Oh, yeah. So when I got into the civilian world of it, it was, hey, this is just like the military. I know a guy. And if I knew a guy that can do this, and then we can move this around. And now I can support the people that I need. And, and most importantly, I can get done what I need to get done. Mm -hmm. And we're not everybody else. So right. relate relationships matter. Man, that is so true. But you also said that, you know, you've been in this for a grip because I'm, I'm waiting on you to tell me something because you know what I want to hear. And, I, and if you don't say it, I'm going to say it out loud. 
but that's okay. How long you been in the sales business, my friend? I, oh, I've, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. Okay. Probably, probably pushing 24, 25 now. All right. Um, yeah, so I started off as a sales rep and 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 I was selling cell phones for Ameritech, if anybody can remember Ameritech, right? Ameritech, you just dated yourself big there, I'm sir. Super, I think that that might have did it. <laughs> so so that 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 that's where I started. Mm -hmm. Um I was selling cell phones. Um and as I got better at sales, I moved to bigger bigger companies and better positions. Um and it it, it was always relationships. I can go into mm -hmm. any organization and in 60 days i knew people mm -hmm. that other people didn't know i could get stuff done that the regular people couldn't and nobody understood why right so i would go in i would meet with my clients and this is where the integrity comes in at because if we can do it i'll tell you if we can't we can't and mm -hmm. and but whatever problem you have i'm going to help you with this problem so mm -hmm. the goal for me was always to solve the problem if i solve the problem then i got you you mean my client forever because i can consistently solve the problem I so love that. You, you leverage that through the relationship and you continue to build a relationship. You show up, you be honest, you do the work. Mm -hmm. Every day is a holiday. I love it. So for our business owners, new business owners this year who are listening, you have already given them so many tools and we're just going to run down a couple of them. One of them, you said, understand that sales is a conversation and a relationship. You said also that to make sure that you are basically the master of your craft. Know what you're talking about. And then you said also, which I think is absolutely incredible, but it's sad that it has to be said, be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, we, that's the, we have to tell people that now? You do, because because people will make stuff up because it sounds good. We, we live in a world where people will create a, a, their own image and their own brand. Mm. And then now I have to live this life. You've been on Instagram. You see all the fakery, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when what you, you are, mean they're not in Bora Bora for real? What? Right, right. They have 17 Ferraris, right? So That's it. you got to be authentic. You got to be you first. And, and yeah. this is how you can connect with people. People mm -hmm. want to know you. They want to know that who are you? What do you stand for? Okay, I believe in those things too. And now we're not, I'm not everybody else. And now we can use that as the anchor to build a relationship. Now we have a foundation. So mm -hmm. now we're good people. We got good energy. I'm Jason Integrity. So integrity is important to me, right? So I, yeah. I come into the relationship with that. If integrity is important, important to you, now we got something to build on. Mm -hmm. So we show up as who we are and, and we stay true to that. Now, love it. I love that. Okay, so the thing that I wanted you to say that you're going to just blow by, which I think is the most incredible thing ever. So, y'all, you know, Jason said, you know, he went to, you know, make sure that you become the master of the craft and go to vacuum cleaner university. This man, yes, yeah. like it's nothing. Where'd you go to school, Jason? I, I went. I went to um, University of Phoenix first. <laughs> Keep going, sir. <laughs> We're playing. Don't play. I'm gonna dime you out. Where'd you go? I, I went to Harvard. I went to Harvard. <laughs> I have I have two graduate certifications from Harvard um, in business communication and entrepreneurship and innovation. I'm gonna just let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> You're literally the second person that I know that ever went to Harvard. So I just think that's cool, y'all. You know, I'm fangirling sometimes. So I appreciate no, thank you. I appreciate it. So Jason, you've been in this for a while. You've given us the tools and things you know. Okay, so I'm a new business owner. I want to sell to everybody because my product is going to answer the question that everyone has. It's going to solve the problem that everyone is dealing with. So I'm going to sell to everybody. What do you say to that? You will have zero sales. <laughs> you're hurting my feelings right now. If, if you're talking to everybody, you're talking to nobody. You know, um, there's nothing that applies to everybody. Everybody's different, you know, um, and you have to have a very specific conversation. This is throughout your, your marketing process. This is when you're uh, creating your, your customer journey. When you're looking at each individual product, mm -hmm. everybody's not going to buy the, the, the thing. So let's figure out who wants the thing. And you have a very specific conversation with them. I like that. So I'm going to stop you right here because Jason, you also have an amazing graphic that I've seen. And I think our guests need to see that. Can you oh. show that and, and tell us and walk us through what you're talking about? You, if you have, if you're selling to everybody, you're selling to nobody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's pull that up. Can you see that? Okay. 
it's not there yet. And there it is. Outstanding. So this is your market. This is my market, your market, whatever product or service that you have, this is 100% of your market. So 30% of the market, they wouldn't take it if you're giving it away. Here's a free, I got it for you. Come, come get it. And they're like, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> Another 30%, they're just not interested for, for whatever reason. They don't, they don't want to buy from you for whatever. They don't like dudes with, with blue shirts on and gray beards. Um, they're just not interested. Mm -hmm. um, so 60% of the market is not going to do business with you, regardless of how shiny the object is or how good your, your market it is, it, pretty your website does not matter. Um, they're not buying business. From them. They're, they're not doing business with you. So not at least 40% of the market, 30% of them, they're interested just not right now. It's the holidays. Uh, we just finished. I'm coming out of that. I'm trying to recover. Right. And, um, I spent way too much money on, on PlayStation stuff and, and I got to figure this out now, but right. I like what you got and I'll, I'll get to you later, right? 7% um, of the market, they're very open to buying. We just got to connect with them and, and start the conversation. 3% of the market, they are ready. They were looking for you and you just happen to pop up. So this 40% of, of, of the market, these are only the only people that we're talking to. And even within this 40%, we're still going to target more specifically. You know, um, if you got if you reach 40 percent of the market, then you, you're, you're dominating. You know, mm -hmm. McDonald's is not getting 40 percent of the market. They got burger oh. places everywhere. You mm -hmm. know, so the conversation, though, applies to 40 percent of the market. And within that, you figure out the, the people that you want to talk to. These are the people I want to do business with. This is where I want the energy to be. And now when I if I get a lot of this particular customer, then every day is a holiday. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so powerful. So for all of our folks who are new business owners and, and trying to get their business started and thinking they're going to sell to everybody, this is the graphic I wanted you to see. Absolutely. Everybody don't want what you got. <laughs> right, that's right. But according to this, 3%, they're looking for you. So you got to make sure that you're available. Jason, how would people get in touch with you if they wanted to work with you? I'm, I'm Jason Integrity on everything. I'm on everything you own. Uh, come to the, you can put in Jason, go to jasonintegrity.com. That, that's available. That's my personal brand site. Or you can go to integritygo.com. But I'm, I'm Jason Integrity on everything. Okay, I love it. And don't worry, y'all. If y'all don't get it, it is all going to be down in the description. You all look, please don't forget, subscribe to our channel and you'll get all this information. But if you or someone you know has an inspiring story or a topic we have to talk about or a small business that needs to be highlighted, we want to hear from you. Go to our website at www.faithonfriday.com, click on connect and send me an email. I really want to hear from you. Jason, my friend, before I let you go, we got to play a game. Uh -oh. <laughs> So this game is called This or That, and it's really simple. I'm going to give you the choice between two things, and you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Mm. Batman or Captain America? Captain America. I'm surprised about that. Okay. Going to the movies or movies at home? Man, that depends on the day. It depends on the movie. I guess I, I'll say going to the movies. Okay. All right. Make the call or send the text? Oh, send the text. Okay. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Three Musketeers. Hmm. Dress up or dress down? Dress down. I know, right? Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. Cats or dogs? Dogs. All right. Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. Uh, fry it or grill it? Grill it. Morning person or night owl? Night, night. I can see that about you, sir. I do. <laughs> And finally, what's your favorite Olympic sport? My favorite Olympic sport, um, I would say the 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 relay, track and field relay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I think everybody likes track and fail. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I like the weirdest one. I I am a, you know, the the one that does the sweeping. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, curling. that curling, that is my favorite sport. <laughs> I love it so much. And I don't <laughs> like cold weather. How about that? <laughs> well. I, li I like tracking. I like the, the, the relay because everybody has got to be working together. The, the, we got a plan. We we own it, and it, it, one person makes can make a huge difference, or the whole thing blows up. But we all got to be on the same page. See? All right, new business owners. He is giving you everything that you need. We want to make sure that you reach out to him. So please check the description and get all his information. Jason, thank you so much for your time, sir. I appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, everybody, that's it for this time. But don't worry, we'll have something else fun next week on Faith on Friday Presents.